use the intercept method to sketch a graph of 3x minus 2y equals 8. We're going to start by finding the x-intercept, and to do that, we let y equal 0. If we do that, we have 3x minus 2 times y, which we said was 0, so we'll substitute in 0, equals 8. 2 times 0 is just 0, so this is 3x minus 0 equals 8. 3x minus 0 is just 3x, so we have 3x equals 8, and to get x alone, we divide by 3. So we have x equals 8 thirds. You can use a calculator to figure out what that is as a decimal. You should get 2.666 repeating. You can also convert it to a mixed number if you want. 8 divided by 3, 3 goes into 8 twice, 2 times 3 is 6, with a remainder of 2. That remainder of 2 becomes 2 thirds, so our answer was 2 and then 2 thirds. So the x-intercept as a decimal is 2.6 repeating, as a mixed number 2 and 2 thirds. So we have to look on the x-axis. 2 is here and 3 is here. We know it's between 2 and 3. 2.666, it's going to be a little bit more than halfway. So it's going to be around there. Or 2 and 2 thirds, it's 2 thirds of the way through. So if you divide that up into thirds, it's 2 thirds of the way. It should be somewhere about there. It's harder to be precise when the intercepts aren't integers. So these ones are a little bit harder to do sometimes if we want to be exact. All right, let's figure out the y-intercept now. The way to find the y-intercept is to let x be 0. If we substitute 0 into x in the original equation, we have 3 times 0 minus 2y equals 8. Anything times 0 is 0, so we have 0 minus 2y equals 8. 0 minus 2y is the same as negative 2y. That 0 just vanishes. So we have negative 2y equals 8, and to get y alone, we divide both sides by negative 2. That leaves us with y on the left, and 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So our y-intercept is negative 4. That means that on the y-axis, I go down to negative 4, and I plot that point. And now I have to be really careful when I'm connecting those dots. I want to do it with a straight line. It's going to look something like this. It would be a little nicer if I had a ruler. And this is the line 3x minus 2y equals 8. Let's look for a test point, one that we can check. Um, there might be a few on yours that look good. The one that looks closest on mine is the point 2, negative 1. So I'm going to try that. Let's check to see if 2, negative 1 satisfies that equation. We have 3 times x, which is 2, minus 2 times y, negative 1. And we want that to equal 8. 3 times 2 is 6. A negative times a negative is a positive, so this will be plus. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 6 plus 2 equals 8. We know that this is true. 6 plus 2 does equal 8. So that tells us that that point does satisfy the equation, so it should be on the line. And that helps verify that we've probably graphed the right line. So there we go.